Welcome. Today I'm going to take you through a bedroom refresh. Not just one bedroom, but two. Paul and I, we were due for a little update with our bedroom. Now, when I say update, I really mean just bedding. I didn't purchase any furniture pieces or anything like that. We are in the process of coming to terms with the fact that we, we feel that we will be moving. And I will honestly just save that for a separate video, but I have a really hard time spending money on our home in areas that are going to stay because I don't see the value in that. For example, if we were going to stay in our home forever, we are ready to repaint. Our, our house was built in 2004 and we still have the same paint in I think all of the rooms. I don't even know if, oh, maybe a bedroom or two has been repainted just because the kids when they were teens wanted something different or whatever, but the flooring is all the same. Everything is really, it's original from 2004. And I just, can't put my dollar towards anything that I can't take with me. So I am that person that when we go to move, I will not be repainting my home to prepare our house to be sold. I actually disagree with that. I know a lot of realtors advise that. We most likely wouldn't use a realtor. Uh, we've sold homes in the past and we've done it on our own. We're very organized and detailed and we're fully capable. And I just don't believe in that because there's nothing worse than going into a new home that's freshly painted and they use the color gray or gray tones, very cold and drab, kind of like the room that I'm in, which is great for filming, but it's a cold feeling and I need warmth because I'm a cold person. I love warmer shades in a home. I am not a fan of cooler shades. And often that is what you will see. I don't know why, but it's usually more of a, a white that's phasing or fading into a, or kind of into a gray color white or tone where I would be more of your beige or ivory colors, like what we have in our home. I, I would really honestly go with a very similar palette. Why am I sharing all this? Well, it was time to do a couple of bedroom refreshes. Number one, I have been filming on the main part of my house forever. I attempted to do a filming room in our basement a, about three years ago, and it was an epic fail. It's been, it was a costly fail, and I don't look at it as a mistake. Um, I learned right? You, you learn, you don't know what you don't know. And there were some things that just didn't pan out for filming that if I would have done my homework ahead of time, that's where I learned, I would have never invested in attempting that room. Well, I am now in the basement, but I'm in a room that used to be a spare bedroom. We did not have this room as a spare bedroom when we built this house. We, we eventually added it on because we had two girls in one bedroom upstairs on the second story and two of our daughters in another one. And then they have this really grand Jack and Jill bathroom between them. Well, with five, which wasn't originally the plan, four, four was perfect for the home. When we had five, putting three and three girls in one bedroom was a lot. So we finished a room in our basement and then one of the girls came down here. So different girls have used this room I'm in right now in our basement. Uh, you know, they've all had like an opportunity or at least a couple of them have had the opportunity to use this room. Well, it, it turned into a spare bedroom because the four oldest girls are all living independently. So this room became a spare bedroom. And I just decided that it was time to make the second story of our home. We have a story and a half. The second story bedroom, which is just empty and collecting, you know, all sorts of things that you throw in there. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And making that our guest bedroom and turning the bedroom in the basement into a filming room. And wow, 
What a great decision that has ended up being. I actually love how the aesthetics to my filming looks in he, in this room. A lot of it is because it's cooler toned and I actually look better in cooler toned clothing. So I think it's more flattering for me. The lighting is really great. And now I'm no longer cluttering up the house with all my filming equipment, which really has it's been a little, like a little jab in my side, if, if you know what I mean. If you coach with me, you're very familiar, especially if you've done the ELI assessment. It's that little nagging, it's always there, right? It's that little nagging thing that's always there. So this was a great decision that I did maybe a couple of months ago, two, two and a half months ago. And in the process, I, did a bedroom refresh of our master bedroom, but bedding only because again, while it'd be great to repaint or maybe tear up the carpet and put hardwood in there, I don't see the value at this time putting money into the home structurally where we can't take it with us. I don't know if we will move. We just know we want to be by the kids and we don't see any of our kids residing permanently in the town that we're in makes complete sense. I wouldn't if I were my girls either. Years ago, much different, but when we built, much different. Um, it's just not a place that we would choose today, and I don't think any of the girls are gonna end up here. So we, we want to go where they're gonna be, which won't be too far away, considering we all work in the same county. So I kind of took you along for a little history there, but I do want to walk you through the bedroom refreshes. I came across a, a line called Cozy Earth, and wow, what a fantastic website. They have so many great pieces. And uh, one of the, I, I just wanted a neutral duvet. You will get to see it in the footage, but um, I, I went with the same duvet cover for both rooms in the same duvet insert, and I got both of them from the Cozy Earth line, which I just love. So I'm going to insert right now pictures of the master bedroom prior to the bedroom refresh, so you can see here what that looked like, a little outdated, just Target stuff that I got years ago, and now I will walk you through the master bedroom refresh, and after that, I will walk you through the guest bedroom and what I did there as well. Took the furniture from down here in this room, took it all the way up there, so we utilized what we had, and then I just went to town, but I love the Cozy Earth line. Everything that I have in the rooms that is available and new, everything will be in the description box below this video, but I always encourage you to click on the top link and check out the corresponding blog post where you have more access to everything, but definitely check out the Cozy Earth website. This is not sponsored. I will share that Cozy Earth did end up sending me a duvet and comforter because I loved my original one. So I asked Haley to reach out to them and see if they'd be willing to send me another one. In exchange, I would share them in a video. So they were happy to work with me and I was thrilled about that. So definitely check out the website. There's a lot more than just bedding on there and the exact pieces that I have will be linked in the description box as well as on the blog post. Here we are in the master bedroom. I will share with you that a lot of the pieces especially the bedding is from Target so very affordable now again the duvet cover and the duvet insert are cozy earth that chunky throw Target those shams you know my favorite sheets and pillowcases are all from Target again everything will be linked if you'd like me to do a video on the proper way to make a bed, yes, there is a proper way, let me know. You can see that I fold my sheet down and I actually have a quilt on. I love the color theme or color scheme. I love the neutral. I just, I think it's very warm. I love how this bedroom turned out. Cozy Earth offers bath towels and men's and women's lounge clothing as well. When I filmed Cozy Earth was having a holiday sale, I don't know if that'd still be going on based on the fact that 
Christmas is two days away. But yes, so pleased with how this turned out. You will see in this basket, I have a couple coffee table books. Those are actually out on my coffee table right now, but when I host a party, I will bring them into this room and put them in this basket. I will have those coffee table books linked. You also got a little glimpse of our pack and play. That's because June takes naps in this room, but I will be probably moving that and she'll use the crib that you'll see in a moment. Those reindeer, those are linked as well as the other decor pieces that are available and new, including this beautiful greenery that I just got on Amazon. I love it. I actually have another one, another bunch like that in another area, but I love these reindeer. I also have them in my great room. If you watch my Christmas decor walkthrough, you will see them in the great room. So I actually have a couple of sets. And we have some more coffee table books down here. They are linked. That bowl, I believe I got at TJ Maxx, but the little unit here, this cream colored pot with lid, Target, and it will be linked. Those Christmas trees that you see, those are also Target. And I believe that candle is anthropology. Everything else, again, if it's not linked, it just means that it's no longer available, it's old. But I love these little cream brush trees. Now, I don't know if you're really into purchasing Christmas decor, but there could be sales that you could take advantage of. That frame is old with the photo of Paul and I in it. And that pedestal bowl I got from Crate and Barrel, but I don't believe it's available anymore, but I love it with the pine cone in it. I love the warm tones in this room. I love soft lighting, lamps, everything on dimmers is very important to me. And of course, I always love to burn candles. I just love that soft lighting. So here's just another angle, another view of the room. Again, very happy with how this room turned out. I just think it's very warm, cozy, inviting, and a perfect place for me to get a good night's sleep, God willing. <laughs> Lord knows I don't have any control over that. Boy, do I wish that I did. I, I, I put all my effort in. Moving along to the guest bedroom, which is on the second floor of our house. Love how this room turned out. Again, the same duvet cover and duvet insert, and then really the same pieces. Um, almost everything that you're looking at on the bed is from Target, minus the teddy bear. I will have, we call him Buckley Bear. We, Buckley will be linked. Lamps are new. The artwork above the bed is new, but a lot of Target pieces here, along with the cozy earth. This is just a different look. It's the same color of the duvet. And then actually the quilt that I have underneath, which again, let me know if you want me to do a video on how to properly put a bed together. There is a way, um, but I love this artwork up above the bed. I love those trees and I will leave those up year round. And there's little Buckley Bear, perfect because we have, this is a nursery as well, so it's a guest room in nursery, so it's nice to have Buckley Bear in there. You can see I have a cord hanging out for an iPhone. I was preparing for Haley and her boyfriend to come and stay with us for uh, Christmas. He was only here one night, and Haley will be here until next Monday. I believe she'll fly to Boston. Uh, that artwork is new. That that mirror is old, but the lamp is new. There's those same trees that you got to see in the master bedroom. Also have a set in the guest bedroom as well. Candle anthropology links will be provided for anything that is new. I believe that frame may be Target. 
and some of the pieces are older from Target, but I love those trees right here. Again, I have no problem using decor pieces in more than one room if it's just something that I really like, especially when it's neutral tone and can go anywhere. That candle I love, McKenna and Kirsten got it for me. We were shopping together and I was out taking care of Bug and they surprised me and came out with a bag from Anthropology, and it was that candle. And I love this piece of art. I really debated on it, but I really loved it. Giving you another snapshot of the fold down, which means that you have to put your sheet, your flat sheet, upside down because you're gonna fold it over. Same with your blanket. And a lot of people don't know this, but there is a little art or science to putting a bed together and it's something I enjoy. I put the throw on this bed a little different than how I put the throw on the bed in the master bedroom, but there's a lot of options and I wanted to share those different options with you. There's another throw over on that chair. That's Target and will be linked. Artwork above is Target as well. This little artwork book, um, I love. I picked this up at a kind of a, a more Parisian style boutique that's about 30, 35 minutes from my home. I'm really happy with the lamps that I chose. These were sold as a set of two, which was perfect, and I love the wood tone. I actually mixed wood pieces a little bit in this room, and I really like how that came out. The furniture is very neutral and nude in that more natural wood look, and then I add some warmth with the lamps. This piece of art above the chair that's got the glare going on from the lamps, that is Target and it just matched that lavender or lilac chair so well. I also updated with some black out window treatments. And this floor lamp over here has that same darker wood, which I really love. And then we pick up that darker wood with the frame that goes above the crib. And this crib I love because it's a metal. It's a more of a black or a dark, I believe it's black actually. I don't know if it's a really dark, dark, deep, bronzy brown, or I'm pretty sure it's black, but a lot of people go with the wood cribs and that's what Kirsten has and that's also what McKenna and Bobby went with so I loved doing the metal and I love the artwork above again I was able to choose my frame for this so you can really customize it to whatever you'd like I love how it's the alphabet I think it keeps the room not too nursery considering it's also a guest room and I chose that darker wood versus going with something black to pick up the wood from the lamps. Here we have a lovely Barefoot Dreams blanket. I believe I got that at maybe Nordstrom Rack. Oh, just love it. It's just the most perfect baby blanket. And I love my little bunny sitting over there. And here we have Perry the Polar Bear. I love Perry. I believe there's different sizes in this polar bear, but I went with the jumbo one. I love it in this basket. I love Cuddle and Kind, the little kitty there. And these books are just, oh, love these books. This Read to Your Baby nursery rhyme, such a must. And of course, The Little Reindeer is such a great book to have out during the holiday season. And I love the colors that pick up from the other shades in the bedroom. So those were perfect books to throw in that basket. And I have a couple of throws in there as well and another throw pillow in there. I love how Perry the polar boy 
bear is just hanging out. We also purchased a breathable mattress and I just got a neutral crib sheet to go on top of the mattress. And we do have it at a lower level because June, she is 19 months now and she's not too aggressive, but you, you don't want to take any chances. And again, cozy earth, bamboo, duvet cover, and the insert, which is lovely and divine. Well, there you have it. Bedroom refresh of the master bedroom and bedroom refresh or new guest bedroom and nursery. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to check out the links. Again, I shared everything that I could, so there's plenty down there. And don't forget to check out the Cozy Earth uh, website. Lots of great stuff there. So thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking it through. I always appreciate it. And I will see you soon on YouTube right here in Merry Christmas.